Hello BookTube, I'm here with another tag. It's the uh, the 10 random questions tag, another Nosy Parker tag. Uh, this I saw on Bill Rutenberg's channel, the Rutenberg Library. Uh, I will leave a link to it down at the bottom, so if you're not familiar with the channel, do pop on over uh, and subscribe. Uh, this is, he's resurrected it from uh, seeing it on Steve Donahue's channel, I guess by about three years ago. Uh, original tag by uh, J.B. Taylor, uh, but uh, Bill says that he couldn't find the, uh, the original video. So uh, there are ten questions, and they go along with the type of questions that we've been doing, or some of us have been going around the... Uh, 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 James Holder uh, resurrected the 28 um, random questions uh, for, that was Steve Donahue from a couple of years ago. And then Steve did another 20 um, questions. So, and it just follows on from it. Uh, similar types of things. And uh, let's get to it. And uh, number one question is, what's your favorite meal? That is really difficult because there are certain things that I do like. There's, well, let's put it this way. Let, uh, let's put that you got like a six or eight course meal and then you have everything that you like. Just sort of think of that. So to me, it would be uh, having lasagna, really good lasagna, uh, roast beef with all the trimmings. Well done. I can never get into this, you know, medium rare, stuff like that. I do not like my meat mooing. Uh, when I cut into it, because every like, I, I I have tried uh, the you know less cooked meat, and it's like eating shoe leather. And every time I have you know well cooked, very well cooked, well done meat, it just melts in my mouth. And the other is like chewing on so and teeth falling out at the same time. Anyway, um, so yeah, so roast beef, uh, turkey. With all the trimmings, stuffing, nice thick gravy, uh, vegetables, uh, you know, um, uh, well, corn, uh, you can have, um, I like cauliflower, uh, broccoli, um, um, uh, oh, I'm trying to think of the, uh, little round vegetables, like they're small, um, most people don't like them, but I really, really enjoy them, um. Oh, this is, my mind is just so terrible in this weather because it's cooled down, but it's still affecting me, the lack of sleep. Um, anyway, they're like little cabbages. Everybody knows them. Uh, most don't like them, but I love them. Um, and, you know, beans, uh, long green beans, uh, things like that. Potatoes, mashed potatoes. You can have mashed potatoes uh, and, um, and have roast potatoes as well, but lots of stuffing. Uh, let's see, what else did I miss? Um, curry? <laughs> let's throw in some curry with that as well. Uh, you know, like a hot vindaloo or something like that. Um, uh, but yeah, no, it's just that kind of thing. And for, you know, fruit, I uh, have a variety of things, uh, like fruit salad, but I love watermelon. You know, some nice cold watermelon at the end. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention is scalloped potatoes and meatloaf that I love so yeah so you have this huge huge thing and that would be that would be a favorite meal I wouldn't be able to eat much of anything because if you ate a little bit of everything you'd be more than stuffed but but those are the types types of food I, I really really enjoy uh oh and hummus hummus I like hummus um number two what is your favorite song at the moment I really don't have a favorite song that's sort of going through my head uh work has been a bit strange but it's gone from me being on the phones talking to technicians and occasionally customers uh you know f sorting out their problems to doing sort of more backgrounds um admin type work so i'm on the phones m much less of the time so i've been able to play some music and i just go to uh i haven't sort of created any um um sort of uh, lists or anything and I can't access all my sort of mp3s that I got at the moment but anyway I I've just been going on uh, Amazon music and just say play rush to Alexa and oh, hopefully it doesn't do play it but anyway um, 
but yeah, I just play Rush uh, and just listen to that usually uh, playing. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, let's see what else here. Question wise, number three, you're given one butt butt to bite. Whose do you choose? I just don't get this question because Bill took it as somebody you don't like and don't bite at somebody's butt for that. You kick their ass. You kick their butt. Uh, see, to me, biting someone's butt is a different level in a different way and I'll just pass on that for the moment. Um, if you could exist in one movie, which movie would you choose? Um... Uh, I can't. I thought of this, and I'm going. There's little bits of many movies that I like. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to exist in one. I guess the the, the kind of thing would be that um, where I'm left alone. Um, you know that the, there are friendly people around that you're accepted for what you are, uh, and that type of thing. But then I think of you know a film like Lady Vanishes and. You know, uh, helping out Margaret Lockwood, and I, that would be, I couldn't say no to that, <laughs> or in a film with Louise Brooks, you know, um, so, uh, but no, I, I it's, it's a little difficult, uh, because I don't have a set uh, thing that I, I would like, like, there's no movie that I can think of that I would say that I'd want to live in that world, more or less, all the time. Um, as I say, like, you know, it's a wonderful life. I really enjoy, I like, you know, I, I like the aspect of the, you know, the, the, the community aspect of it. Um, you know, uh, but yeah, uh, let's see. Number five, you are the president and you get to ban one thing. What do you choose? I would say ignorance, because I think if you if you banned ignorance, then it, 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 the corollary of that would be that people would want knowledge, and with knowledge, hopefully, if you get enough of the knowledge, you would realize that you can't be ignorant of things, you cannot be narcissistic, you, you shouldn't be anyway with enough knowledge, but I know human nature is different, but then, then it should be. Uh, but with knowledge, you think, you know, that you realize, well, you, you shouldn't be racist against someone. You shouldn't, uh, you know, uh, try to, you know, um, be superior over to anybody else because it's, it's all detrimental to you in the end. It's like, you know, oh, let's make, I'm going to screw everybody over and make all the money that I can, uh, you know, stuff like this. And it's like, well, in the end, it's not really helpful for anyone and for you and your children you know because you're going to destroy things and it's just not uh so i think if you have that knowledge the the the, the opposite of ignorance um in the fullest sense that it could do something like that otherwise just get rid of stupid people <laughs> which well that would mean that you know you'd be pretty well alone um Number six, do you choose to have the Sorcerer's Stone or Excalibur? Well, you know, Excalibur is a sword of like in the myth type that's uh, wielded by somebody to do good. Uh, physically, I couldn't wield and do the good. So I suppose I would say I would have the Sorcerer's Stone so then I could control who has the uh, the Excalibur and to make sure that good was done and if it wasn't then I could bring it back uh, seven your death who would you choose to bump off there is no book two video long enough for this that's 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 yeah <laughs> that's just leave it at that uh, without me giving names and being saying I'm giving death threats to to people <laughs> um, let's just say the list will be long it will include uh, politicians and many others of all uh, levels of society let's put it that way 
Uh, number eight. What indie book deserves worldwide acclaim? Okay. Now, I'm going to take indie book to mean in a different format than a lot of the, Some people say indie book that it's self-published. I'm going to take it that it's not published by a mainstream, a big publisher. So in that case, my book, my book, my book should have worldwide acclaim. My book. Nothing else. Okay. Let's, let's, okay, I just went into a fantasy world there, but let's let's come back to some reality. Uh, number nine, what hidden talent do you have? The talent to enrage people. And I'm using that as a quote from Louise Brooks. And it doesn't matter what I do, I seem to enrage people in general. Work-wise, everywhere. Uh, I say something that is should be totally innocuous to most people, but generally people don't know what I mean, especially if there's sometimes a cultural thing, uh, being Canadian and the British. And they don't want to ask to clarify what I mean. They just go from hearing it to thinking, voom, into the stratosphere that I'm insulting them, so I enrage them. Uh, so they go from zero to stupidity in nanoseconds without asking. Uh, so, yeah, I have the talent to enrage people very easily. Uh, number 10. You can resurrect one person. Whom do you bring back? Me. Why, why would you do anybody else? When you die, I'd resurrect myself. Job done. Tag over. Have a good weekend, book two. <laughs>